Hi guys and welcome to Grid 2. So this game I've been looking forward to for quite some time. Obviously based off the original Grid 1, which I enjoyed very, very much by Code Masters. Definitely looking forward to this. I'll be doing the World Series of Racing. You can see all the options down there. Obviously it's got Grid Online for multiplayer and stuff. A, little things, a few little things to be a little bit concerned about. There's no cockpit view on this game at all. It seems to focus purely on like, the third person view and like, the bonnet cam and stuff like that. So yeah, it's, it's a little bit of concern. There's a lot of pre... Uh, pre like limited edition content as well that you might have missed out on if you bought the game after release which is a little bit concerning just to let you know i'll read in the second part on my racing channel which is game white racing loads of annotations to the next part on screen and in the description and to my other channel which is purely based on racing i'm just doing a little video on this channel because i have more of an audience on this channel i don't do much on that racing channel apart from obviously a bit of f1 and a bit of grid as well but yeah we're doing the next part of this walkthrough on that channel so yeah, just make sure you know, go subscribe to that channel now and like this video as well. Let's get started. So there may be a story to this at the beginning, I'm not 100% sure. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm calling this at like 6 p 6 a.m., which I'm pretty pretty sad I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> I am quite a bit tired. But yeah, it's looking pretty goddamn awesome so far. I'm really looking forward to it. I've seen lots of uh, gameplay of it. It looks astonishingly excellent. So yeah. Yeah, is this a dodge tank? Isn't it? God, hey man, yes. All the work let's go. In is about to pay off. Just get out there and hold your own. We're sure to get noticed. Man, this looks awesome. It's in New York, isn't it? I feel like a bit like a Fast and Furious with that start intro. Ooh, bit of a bad start there. Not the best first corner in the game ever. Uh, I was actually practicing with a grid one yesterday. Try and get a feel for the game again. It's definitely more arcadey than sim, I guess. But, um, but look, it does have a sort of sim feel to it as well. Someone spun out up ahead. Be careful. Oh, a bit of a grind there. It's a very like bash. So you sort of bash them out the way a bit and sort of stamp your authority on the guys in, on the AI and stuff, especially online as well. So Third place. Keep going. don't be afraid to sort of make mistakes and sort of uh, bash into them and be a little bit more brutal. So into third place now. Can I get into first? What's this guy doing? He's sweeping all over the place. Got on the curb a bit. Who worries about that? New looks amazing though in distance. This guy's got a way though, isn't he? Jesus. Cheeky fella. I'm coming for you. Smoke effects look awesome. The graphic, graphics look a lot better than the last game so far. It looks woo, absolutely amazing. It's running at a very steady frames as well. My PC is not the most amazing PC ever. People are going crazy for this race. Keep it going. This guy first is quite far in, in distance. Hopefully I can get a second though. That not a bad amazing. start. The buzz here is incredible, man. I, I couldn't keep track of the amount of camera phones focused on you. That performance is going to get us noticed. Just you wait and see. So, yeah, that was that first race. Not too bad. Patrick Callahan here. I see you've been making waves across the racing community with your videos. You've already gained quite a following. I've been searching for a driver on the rise to help me take a plan of mine to the next level. I have an opportunity for you, if you're interested to help me create the most comprehensive racing series in the world. No need to decide right away. I've set you up with a track day at Indianapolis Speedway. Enjoy it. Practice and consider my offer. I'll be in touch in a few days. Oh man. This is, uh, this is a next race. Oh, got an achievement already. Here's my number. Call me maybe. That was a hard achievement to get. <laughs> I'm never that keen on like basic achievements like that. I feel like they're a bit unrewarded. They're just like, oh, here's an achievement for you. I feel like you've achieved something, but yeah. I told you that last race would spark some interest. You heard of Patrick Callahan? Well, he's the reason we're here today. He's got some big idea to set up a new world racing series that's going to take the world by storm. His words. So, today is a no-pressure tryout. Let's show him what you can do. Sounds good, sounds good. We're we back in our normal car, we are. learn the track today before you go full throttle. I love the car. Um, so, the views are... Okay, look, so it's like a bonnet cam. This, sweeping left embankment. You got this a view, and then like slightly further back. To the right. Look out for the brake marker boards. They will help you judge when to start slowing down. Go for the bonnet cam for a bit. 
Not my, not my favourite view. Some speed and look for those markers, so you'll overshoot the turn. Right, it's a little bit out of there. Just testing the car, I guess. Okay, let's it's a little bit skiddy, but not too bad. Get some speed up, tap the brake, and steer hard into the next turn. Continue to turn, and the back end will begin to slide. That wasn't drifting. That wasn't drifting. I was just hitting the grass. To carry the drift. Get ready. Next corner. Let's see a drift. Balance your speed when you turn, then get ready to catch the back end as you slide. Oh yeah, a bit of drifting. It's not really a drifting car or something. turns after the bridge are a little tighter. Don't be afraid to come off the gas a little if you need to. Oh, I definitely will. <laughs> Whoa, went off the gas a bit. Yeah. Barely on the track here. Help me cut the corner, god damn it. We go All back. Right, full throttle now, coming onto the final straight. That was confusing. I was trying to say to see which way I was supposed to go there. I was like, which way do I go? Engine sounds feel amazing, especially with like a headset on. It was really nice because I'm actually in the car and stuff. Definitely not the best lab ever. Hey, buddy, you can do better. Luckily, the proof of that has already been seen by the right people. If you we want go to go back to your garage, or? that's cool. Otherwise, you can stay there a bit longer and practice. Come in when you're ready, pal. It's really fast. I'm gonna 160 almost, 160 miles an hour. Just smash on the brakes. Ooh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Clip the apex. Balance your speed when you turn. Then get ready to catch the back end as you slide. Hit that corner. So what view would you like to see? Would you see, like, see bonnet cam in the walk through? Or the, the third person view, maybe? So it's a lot better this lap. Slowly getting used to the game a bit. As I say, that almost <laughs> literally lose the car. Nice counter steering to catch the back end. Thank you. In compliments already. Right, let's go to this next left bend. Let's do this. Skiddy, bit skiddy, bit skiddy. Whoa. Excellent. Nice throttle control and good counter steering. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, not very fast there, but on a lot quicker. This flat feels a lot better than the last one, hopefully. Yeah, my lap is 116. I can't remember what my last lap was. Guess we'll find out in a second, and then we'll end the session. And we're done. Hey buddy, you can yeah. Do Luckily, the proof of that has already been seen by the right people. Let's do this. Um, end session. Confirm. So this is the, the sexy loading screen. We'll see the full Mustang is what we've used so far. I've been keeping my eye on the racing scene for a while now. And your performance in Chicago is the reason why you had a drive around the Indianapolis Speedway. Now I have something to offer. My dream is to create a World Series of Racing. Imagine the high-speed racers from the US, the technical guys from Europe, and the Drift Kings of Asia, all in one competition to determine the world's greatest driver. But first, we need a spark. We need a star. And that's where you come in. To get our name out there, I've set you up with some of the USA's elite racing clubs. Once we get the US clubs on board, sign some of their drivers, get their fans, then we can start hosting our own events. I just need some details. Then I'll get my people to draw up some contracts. Right, let's I've got do a it. Feeling about this? Let's make this happen. Whoa, my name is Scott, not Player Scott. Let's go for that. Uh, yep. So I'm playing on the um, the PC, but I'm using an Xbox controller because I think the game is more built for a controller. To be honest, it's not really built for a wheel. I don't really have a wheel anyway, but um, I'm 21 to 6. Ah. Can I change my nationality? I come from Britain, so I'm British. And I continue. Um, names. I think that we should. Uh, name, sweet. Scott. Hi, Scott. That's, that's how American say my name. Anyway, um, I do have an account, but I'm going to leave that for now. Um, yeah, cancel that. So, full level damage. Go for middle medium difficulty and I go for continue so first up you've got an invite to compete with new Union Race Club and their star driver Harrison Carter if you can give him a good challenge it should get him interested in joining up with us well, let's do this I think I might call my Ford Mustang 
a charge early. I do apologise. That's how tired I am. Hey, let's do this. You're gonna need all of your driving skill to make your way through the pack and bring home the win. This is gonna be tricky. Uh, 2.5, 2.8 miles. Um, looks like we gained fans, it's like a sort of result of it. It's like a sort of fan for us and our, our company almost. So we've, got, we've only got one car we can pick from, so yeah, not much choice. This game so far feels awesome though, the graphics look. Oh, I hope it comes off on the screen, it just looks amazing. Even, even the loading screens look pretty. So yeah, does this game impress me a lot so far? The driving's a lot of fun as well. A lot, a lot of fun. Grass banks and ditches by the road. They could turn your car over if you crash. Harrison Carter is the main man around here. Show him you're up for the challenge. Harrison Carter. Oh, so that's how like main challenge I've to and beat. I'm going for Bonnie Cam. I'm not really used to Bonnie Cam to be honest. Uh, but I think it looks like the best view at the moment. The best known racing clubs in the US. Finish in the top three to get their attention. Uh, you do a, a flashback feature as well, which I haven't actually used yet, but um, that'll be useful if I crash. The top three is close. Let's take it. Do you have like a percentage of how long we have left? This is just like a sprint race. It's like one lap to the other end of the track. Sorry, a track is it? I mean, like a, a lanes or whatever. Again, the sunlight looks amazing. It's all sort of weird, like even sort of mist, like a sort of sun, sunrise mist almost. This early race. It's got to get a little bit more confident in the car, and we should be going a bit quicker soon, hopefully. Whoa! <laughs> that was alright, actually. We'll sit tight around here. The three of us pretty close together. Yard Yamish! A lovely move on the outside there. Oh, bit of bashy there. I can't get any closer to first. Oh yeah, we're in first now. Tough is nice. These lanes are amazing to drive along. A little bit of skidding there. So first the game will probably be a little bit easier for you guys that perhaps have a bit of experience with racing. Um, yeah, so give it a little bit of time. It will definitely ramp up. In difficulty, I'll, I'll go change it to hard maybe. Nice, a bit of damage there you can see along the side. Uh, the damage is actually quite good in this game. Actually really good. Um, also we can do like flashbacks and stuff. Continue. Not bad, it's gone to the next race. Uh, continue as well. So you see my times there, see if you guys can beat it. If you ever, if you get the game, definitely let me know in the comments. Compare times, I will hopefully beat you. <laughs> Do this, let's do this. So I gained like 3,500 fans. Just, oh, that's what we have so far. Okay, now it's going up. Makes sense. So we went up like 2,500 fans. Is that right? <laughs> is my maths any good? So, okay, what's your so game for? Ooh. Well, your performance has got another club interested, the Trans America Pacers. You'll need a Japanese built vehicle to compete with them. So, here's two to choose from. Okay, so we've got this one and this one. So, they look pretty similar. In terms of specs, they look exactly the same. So I slightly look, like the look of this car more. Just, I'm just purely going by looks. There, very professional. Um, uh, you both win the other one later via vehicle challenge. Okay. Good That's choice. Fine. You've got the option to take any of the cars you own for a test drive. It's a good way to test out the limits of the car before you head into competition. Sounds good, Sponsors sounds good. are another great way to get your name out there. Each time you advertise a sponsor on your car, they'll offer you an objective. Complete it and you'll make sure you reach a wider audience. Okay, so uh, finish ahead of Harrison in a race event. Okay. So it's just different challenges for each one. A lot of them since we win vehicle challenge. So just start change it for every time we do a new one. Don't know, it's hard to say. Right, let's go for... This one seems quite good. So we've got uh, three empty slots, which I think fills up the car. Yeah, so see the, the sponsors on the side. Uh, is there any cool sponsors that we can see? They seem quite... There's a few, like, realistic ones. I don't think they're all realistic. I have no idea. Um... We're in a face-up event. I don't know. That's, that's more of like a two ver a one versus one event. Let's do that as well. Right. Um, so we done there? 
Sponsors are another great way to get your name out there. Each time you advertise a sponsor on your oh, you can change it for it. Ah, oh, nice. Objective. Complete it, and you'll make sure you reach a wider audience. So we're done there. Have a look at your available livery options. So we're done with the vehicle. Are we ready to go? Check your race calendar and see about getting a win. So we go to events, options, extras, DLC as well. So you got DLC with the pre-owned stuff, but um, I'm guessing they will be releasing more over time, like new vehicles and stuff as well. Let's go for Korea. Okay, so you've got a few choices now. You can continue competing with New Union. You can accept the invite to meet the Trans America Pacers, or if you want to get some practice in, I've organized a test drive at Indianapolis anytime you need it. I'm gonna go for this Trans America thing. Uh, it looks like a face off. Let's so, do that. Just like before, you've only been invited to one event with the Trans America Pacers. If you can show them you've got what it takes to keep up with them, I'm sure they'll invite you back. Sweet, Face sounds good. It's a one on one, no holds barred charge for the line. There are no penalties for contact. Just remember, you can push hard, but so can they. Ooh, sounds good. Right, let's do this. 1.2 miles. That's not actually that long at all, is it? So that should go quite quick. And we need the uh, Japanese. Ooh, so it's, where's that car, car gone? <laughs> uh huh. Oh my god, it feels like a Tokyo Drift all over again. I remember oh that sound just like just reminds me of Fast and the Furious so badly when the car sort of pull up to the line and makes that sound just like ready to go. Remember, you'll need to finish in the top three if you want the Pacers to invite you back. So we're in Chicago. Is this what we done earlier? Was it was it actually in Chicago? So it follows the same theme as well, so I think we can do our own like theme and branding as well, which I'll probably look at later on. First now. Oh, this is Chicago, not New York. Oops, he did this. Made some wrong calls in this game so far. He's right behind us. I'm gonna stick in this view for this race, I think. Ooh, they feel very drifty, this one. He's right behind me, though. He's not getting, I'm not getting rid of him. Ooh, let's hit the edge a bit. I think I've done okay because you know I just jumped into this game literally just now. A bit okay-ish. Whoa! I probably shouldn't say it, should I? Pretty crash. Oh, nice. Got an achievement for that as well. Nice! Not bad. A very quick race indeed. I felt like I was in and out in like a two seconds flat. Amazing! First place! Keep it up! Aha, so I think we move on to the, the next round. So that's only qualifying rounds. Which is fine. I guess that was quite a quick race anyway. <laughs> and we're back to the loading screen. So our longest drift is 328 feet or foot. Uh, most vehicles use Ford Mustang, of course. I've only used this vehicle once. So. Loading screens are quite quick, they're not too bad. We play exactly the same race, I guess. This car suits a drift driving style. Try to get the car sideways through the bends to maintain your speed. Okay, to hit that. Around that side of it. Oh, and there we go. So, suits drifting apparently, so I feel like Tokyo Drift. It's very hard to drift in this game though. It's not easy at all. It's not like a new speed game. Whoa. So, no, I'm not doing too bad. I keep complimenting myself. So, the vehicle's on the uh, on the side as well, which looks really cool. Gives a sort of Fast and the Furious feel, like a sort of vehicle atmosphere as well. Or party atmosphere. A couple more corners to go. If I don't crash, I should win. Oh, this is a flashback. There's a lot that can go wrong on a race day. Let's see how that could have gone. I should look behind me. That didn't go well. Point in the replay that you want to resume from and hit flashback. So it's just a flashback feature. I used it once. I didn't need to use it at all. But, um, yeah. I pressed the bikes. I thought I was trying to look behind me just to see where he was. But in the old game, it used to be Y to look back. You were in the zone out there. Now I think it's just the uh, the left, the right analog stick. You just press it behind you to have a look, which is fine. Just learning the learning the buttons as we go. Chicago is a grid-based city, so watch out for 90-degree bends. So this is the final 1.2 miles again. Same track. Let's do this. He looks very speedy, though, doesn't he? A little bit of a nudge. Oh yeah, there we go. 
remember to turn up. <laughs> How inconvenient when I just go around. Whoa, dude. Oh, my first big crash. Nice bit of grazing down my lovely white car. Hi guys, how you doing? Oh, so I saw one of the new full Mustangs. Oh, I love that car so much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't believe, I can't believe I've got called a full Mustang a challenger earlier. Oh my god, what a new. Oh well. Oh, it is 6 a.m. now, so. Go, go, go! The guy behind me, I'm miles in front. Yes! I won. I'm not sure about the end music. It's like some old like jazzy music from like ages ago. You just beat the Pacers at their own game on your first try. How many drivers can say that? Not bad, not bad. So you got the leaderboard, so that's all my friends. You can sort of see there. Um, obviously, you can compete against your friends for best, just like best times and stuff, which is pretty cool. No money, no problems. So an achievement there. I think that was um, yeah, that was using a, a flashback in in a race. So we'll do one more race and then we'll end the video there. As I said, I'll be doing my next uh, let, my next part of my racing channel, which is Game Riots Racing. Just take the Yami out of the name and add racing. That's my racing channel where I do my racing stuff. Okay, Scott. Now that's how to get it done. Not only have you been invited back to race in more events, but you've also been offered a chance to enter your first promotional event. Each of these will offer you a new challenge. So it's a great way to try out new styles of racing and raise your profile. Right, so we've got a promo or vehicle challenge to complete. So we can do either of these two. Um, I like the sound of vehicle challenges, maybe. Your driving has caught a manufacturer's attention. They'd like to loan you a new vehicle. If you can beat the target time and prove you can handle it, they will let you keep it. Sounds vehicle challenges. Let's do it. Let's do it. I sort of skip that guy's voice. Garage, which you can then use in other events. All you have to do is beat the target time, and the car is yours. I think we're ready to go. Let's do this. Let's do it. One lap. Um, I guess I have to use that car. I'm ready. So this will loan us the car so we can use it in future events. So hopefully it's a faster car. Um, which is cool. Obviously we can improve our garage. It'd be cool if we had like, um, them all sort of stacked up over time like in your, in your garage instead of having like a weird Miami is a tough track. loading screen thing. Right, let's go. Miami, welcome to Miami. Yeah. What's this? Oh, I've got the target time. This is your oh, chance God. To your vehicle collection. Oh, this is the other vehicle we could have got. Okay. There's not much of it. Yeah. Is the, is the other vehicle we could pick is for the sort of Japanese style stuff. This is the other vehicle so we can have this as well. Welcome to Miami. I might be copyrighted for that music, so I better stop singing. Not sure how fast I'm going. It's the first time on this track, so that breaks a bit too much now. Always careful. I don't want to hit my hit the side of my car, especially when it's been loaned to me as well. Got it. I think we got it. I think we're doing okay. Whoa! Jesus, that went a bit wrong. See the sparks when I've done that. I'll resume here. Well, no! Done it again. <laughs> that was like my. That was the corner just kept going wrong anyway. That's fine. Vehicle unlocked. Woohoo! Right. I'm not sure we should do one more race or not. Should we do one more race or should we end it here? I'm trying to decide. Uh, whoa, swagger! Jeez, what the hell's that? <laughs> I got my swag on. Let's go on to the next game. Next, let's, let's do another race. Why not? When you push yourself, you've got your hands on a new Should do a promo. Keep putting in shows. Let's do a promo. These events are all about exciting the fans. It's important you put on a good show. That's sounds why good. Sounds I'll be good. giving you a specific objective before each event. Complete it, and you'll raise your overtake. Is all about passing the dedicated event cars as quickly as you can. Each pass is worth a chunk of points, but you'll get more points the faster you can get from one car to the next. Remember, keep one eye on the road and the other on the traffic. Okay, sounds good. So we've got to overtake all the cars, um, quickly overtaking the next one as quickly as possible. Sounds like a fun little race to end it on. And yeah, 
exciting times. I'm looking for. I'm really loving this game so far. I'm really, really impressed with it. I'm enjoying it a lot. The driving feels nice. It doesn't feel too arcade. It doesn't feel too sim. It doesn't feel too sim either. So that's really cool. So the gaming doesn't have like a difficult level as such. I mean, you can do it on hard, but there's no like driving assists or anything. So just cool. Is this London? Is oh no. City, so watch Chicago. So this is a challenger. Oh, can't get past this dude. It's, all, it's like all the road. Collision. There we go. Still going points. Look at that. It's so slow. Jesus. Next overtake. Early on the brakes there. Okay, so we lose it. We can get we're sort of losing points as we go. There we go. I was taking that quickly. See the bar going down nice and quick. Oh Jesus! You're putting on a great show for the fans. Give them more of what they want. Ah, oh, we got a combo together. Not the best corner in there. How many guys are there? Craziness. Three laps of this this lovely track. It's a very tight little track though. Okay, just, just has his lights on. What's wrong? Are you broken? Try to go inside this dude. Ooh, that was a bit dodgy. Oh, I've been, I hit into one and I just put my points all the way back. How many trucks are there, for Christ's sake? <laughs> There's loads of them. Very, very, quite a tight little track though. A little bit different to what we've done before. Ah, oh, I collided and lost the points again. Damn it. I hit the car like five times there, it was terrible. I think let's keep going around. The cars are sitting like a sort of certain amount of distance from each, each other. Uh, that was a nice collision, that was a scratch. Oh, loads of points there. Oh, I was trying to overtake. I was going to overtake in there, but I decided not to in the end. Oh! Closed the spot just like closed on me. I'm not sure how many points we actually need, but... Get the combo, getting the combo back up, 400. Where do I go now? It's like really tight here. What she said. Through it. Whoa. Oh man, the guy just turned on me. That was unfair. Why did smoke getting quite infuriating? Such like a... This car is so like... Wants to go straight all the time. Sort of thing. Just doesn't like turning. Oh damn it! It's got a bit of damage behind me. Oh well. It's straight. It's so much fun. So. Yeah. Objective complete. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Thirteen thousand points. Not bad. Yes. That's outstanding, man. Overtake 101 right there. Yeah, I completely own the guy. He had 5,900. Uh, 5, I had 13,000 craziness. I think this may not be around, so I'm not sure. I don't think it is. I think it's just a one-off event. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Absolutely smash that like button to death. And come back soon for the next one. So as I said, it will be on my other channel. Uh, Game Like Racing. Check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye-bye. That performance gave us plenty of exposure. Check out your newsfeed.